All right, so I'm back, and hopefully the stream is better right now. Uh, we'll see if that is the case. Fingers crossed, but let's see how it goes. So let's continue with the SS Trials now. And for SS Trial 1, the time law is when battling against mages, holy units, and demons, all stats increase by 50%. Thanks, Iskarka. Hopefully it's working out better now. So, for this battle, Ledin actually sucks. Because <laughs> he's a holy unit. Which actually means I really should be bringing Landius as my tank. Um, this is one of those battles where Ledin as a holy class taking 50% additional damage will actually cause him to die. So why don't I actually do the change that I mentioned? I'm going to bring Landius with Dark Guards. And the reason for the Dark Guards is so the Lancer can't rip him apart. Other than that, I'm going to focus on fighting in the south early on. So Leon and Liana are down here ready to smash these enemies. And yeah. Let's just begin. That's a bit odd, uh, Iskarka, because I'm not seeing any drop frames now. But let me know if it does continue to slideshow or whatever. <laughs> For now, I'm just going to shift everyone south. And have Landius... Faction buff. Shifting Sophia south. I just want to avoid the attack from this, from these two in general. So I'm just going to shift south with everyone. Might as well pray her up because I'm going to be busy using a game after this first turn. Oh, there we go. Yeah, dropped frames again. I don't know what the cause is. My CPU usage is fine. Um, it has to be my internet. <laughs> so something is a little bit off from my ISP, I guess. The only thing I could do is not stream and instead just do a video. So I don't know. Well, in any case though, let's start by finishing this Orc Berserker. Wow! That's kind of crazy that Leon could not one shot him. Oh, so be it. Bozo can come down and finish it off. Landius can activate his faction buff now. Li Liana can again yeah. to attack the Southern Assassin. Wiping that one out. And Sophia is just going to regenerate Landius this turn. Yeah, the local recording would be fine. 
but I can't do anything about the dropped frames, sadly. I just tried and yeah, didn't seem to do any good. I restarted my router, restarted my PC as well. Huh? Huh? Okay, for now. So let's earthquake these enemies. Have Leon move back because it won't do him any good to attack. Vienna can do a ranged attack on this Lancer to weaken it a bit, I suppose. Landius will just end his turn. And I'll just mass heal. Sophia rewinding at this point is kind of pointless. Okay. So. For now. Huh? Way too much guarding. Uh, I can just earthquake them, I suppose. Landius' guard skill will wear off, so I can... I have to leave him there, where he is. I can have Vienna do a better range attack to help weaken some of these enemies. Leon can use his assault skill at this Lancer and back off into Landius' guard range, and I'm just going to regenerate Landius. Yep. We're back, Pano, but sadly I seem to be continuing to drop frames, so it seems to be a ISP issue, unfortunately. So, continuing on. Huh? Let's have Bozo start things off with a range attack. Leon can melee attack this infantry to wipe it out and move down. I'm going to have Liana range attack the flame skeleton. Wow, took a beating there. Landius will activate his faction buff, or sorry, not his faction buff, his guard skill to protect Leon. And finally, Sophia will mass heal everyone. So far, so good. SS Trial 2. When hero is range class, unit's normal attack range increases by 2. This one should be pretty easy. Although there are 4 infantry characters around you. Uh, so what? <laughs> We'll change Leden to Mask Maids to easily to deal with them more easily. Have Leon crush the two orcs at the start, and then mop up. Yeah. 
無駄な抵抗はするな了解Attack and the kill. Let's place the l e o n d e s and have l e t i n Divine Guard over here. Then Liana will again Leon for the five range attack on the second Cyclops. Which also wipes it out and move back. Huh? Hi. Huh? He can move three and then one, two, three. Hi. So huh? if I want to stay out of range Hi. of the elf, I simply regenerate lead in from here and have Bozo move down. I guess I'm going to hit them all with an earthquake, like so. I'll kill off this infantry general and debuff these two. Leden can just faction buff. Sophia will rewind everyone. Leon will now wipe out these two. And I'll start off with. The elf, because it's closer, so that Liana has an easier time to use a gain on my Leon. I don't want an Overlord's badge. <laughs> I just want a Swordsmith medal. And now, Ledin, now that he has his faction buff, he should be able to crush both of these enemies. Infantry dies, and Lancer kills himself as well. Or he should. I actually raised one of mine to level 50, this Karka. Or level 40, I think. I need one more for a level 50 Angel's Feather. It's actually currently on one of my healers, I think. I don't even remember where I put it. <laughs> but I do have a level 40 one. Oh, maybe it's on Jessica. Yep. See? Level 40. No, just I figure if I can have more gear for healers in general, it might have a use somewhere, somehow. Anyways, uh, Timeless Trials, SS Trial 3. After taking action, receive a 30% chance to gain mobility plus 2 for one turn. And two in the south, three in the north. Leon. Hmm. Leon can definitely crush the two mist dancers, right? 
chivalry attack let's say move forward to here Liana again and then Leon kills off the other one uh, but what follows that for example you know what let's leave Leden down here I'm I really want to use Landius because Landius would just counter these but whatever uh, I'll leave Leden down here with phallic soldiers and Sophia And then in the north, why don't I bring Lana to try to one-shot this cuttlefish? I don't think she can. I really don't. Not without a faction buff, but what the heck. Let's give it a shot. So this setup looks okay to me. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. I agree, it's Karka. If I were to use Landius, he would definitely be brought here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Could not one-shot, which messes up my plans. Pretty dramatically, too. Okay. Let's have Liana move down here to again Leon then. And Leon can wrap around and assault and kill the other Miss Dancer. At least that went as planned. Now this one can go one, two, three, aim, one, two, and I'm still out of range with my Leon, so placing him here is okay. Lana, Lana, Lana. I am going to have to come down and Dark Reaper this, Miss Dancer. Let in. Well, let's have him Divine Guard and regenerate. Pulls Lena away. Leden should one shot this undead knight. Yep. And now. Okay. Hi. I can run yes. north and rewind. <laughs> so Leden will start things off with faction buffing. Sophia is going to rewind here like this. That will affect everyone. But before that, let's have Lena move back a tile and toss a freezing strike at this cuttlefish. That also moves her into rewind range. And the heal from that too. Perfect. So, Leon can now... Trenches! Does it cost 2 movement or 3? I think it's 2. But I'm not 100% certain. Let's see. I'm going to... Just in case, I'm going to move up one tile to get closer. So, chivalry? And attack. It looks like it's three for cavalry. 
because I can only move into this tile, and I can't move into the tile Liana is on. So it's a good thing I got closer. The on melee attack kills off the archer. And then he has plus two mobility to kill off this cuttlefish, really. If I so wish. I don't think there's any other option. Or I could just heal up Leaden for now. Right? Like this? Yeah, whatever. Cuttlefish continues to one-on-one -on -one against Lena. Hmm? Lena will now finish it with the Dark Reaper and heal up. Leon gets the opportunity to attack the Archer General and move back. Again. And assault to finish the catapult. And if it doesn't die, let him can finish it. Yeah, it feels that way so far. Very easy trial so far indeed. But every so often we do get all the trials without any difficult time loss. So, no complaints. SS Trial 4. When you attack a target with lower hit points than yours, damage will decrease by 50%. No more AoEs. Is what this time law means. So. Well, let's once again place. L Actually. I could have led in Liana in this and Lena in the south. And Sophia can easily run down with her four mobility. And then Leon and Liana can be in the north. Yeah, that's fine. Here we go. So initially, I guess, why don't I just regroup everyone, get everyone close to each other. There's no real reason to push in. So there we go. First turn complete. Free strike on the Lancer. Levin tanks the hits from this Calvary General. Sophia can regenerate Levin, not that I really need it. Theon can chivalry and assault the Leviathan. It has that defense buff, which makes it tough enough to tank the hits. So I might as well use Liana's again to finish it off. So there we go. Oh, that easy, Lauren? I will say I'm playing a bit off today. I I actually failed uh, a few trials in the SS in sorry in the S level trials. 
Let's have Lennon melee attack this Necromancer. As a holy class, he just crushes it. I don't want to use any AoEs, so Lena is not going to do that. Let's have Sophia mass heal the Southern group. And Sage's hat, let And... Since I don't particularly want to trigger them yet, I'm just going to move down. Eden crushes the undead knight. And now... I will rewind. How about right here? There we go. So Leon will start things off. Chivalry. And assault on the left of the behemoth. And retreat. Let's see. Over here. Liana can again Leon to kill off the necromancer. And we're done. I know the SSS final trial all depends on the timeline, I think. With a with a pretty easy time law, they are truly easy. With a hard time law, they're a pain in the butt. So, SS Ultimate Trial, the enemy is immune to all debuffs. And this looks like I'm going to. Fi I think you can Lester. Yeah. I kind of remember this doing this one before. Lester, where are you? All the way at the end. Okay. So, chain hook and kill, chain hook and kill. Lana, Sophia, just in case, bring strength in instead of regenerate. And we're ready to go. Danger zone. Yes, Wakata. Move Lester over, move Lana over, move everybody over. And strengthen Lana. Leon can shivery and assault. And retreat. And then Lester can move up, chain hook, and continue to we continue this. Actually, maybe I want to chain hook Tierras first. Get rid of the healing light effect. So yeah, let's shift over a little.
Going to be patient because there's truly no need to rush this. Let's party! <laughs> All right, so once again, let's start off with Planet Dark Reaper this time, so that Leon can easily attack Tiaris and wipe her out and retreats. Now that Chain Hook did not activate clocks this time around, I'm going to rewind. And shift over to the other side. So, next should be Shuri. Now that I have access to chivalry again. So, Shuri gets pulled where? Let's see. Into the middle of the water here? Like right there? Sorry, right here. Okay. So then Lena can, if she two range attacks, I am still outside of the other ranges. So yeah. Yes. So let's place Lester there initially, so he, I can do the chain hook and then start the battle. And turn and turn and turn. Strengthen. And here we go. Yeah, I think so is Karka. You're right. I yes. kind of remember her Tiaris being harder to kill. So. Clocks activates. Had a lot of clocks activations this time around. Much more than usual. Leon, chivalry! Start with the first attack and retreat. We need some healing from Liana. In fact, he needs a bit more healing from Sophia. And the second attack with assault should crush her. Shuri. And then Lena is next. So once again, move up for chain hook and then, then kill. I can also afford to wait a few turns to make sure I have chivalry and whatnot, but I don't think I really need it. At least not for the kill on Lena. So let's just strengthen my Lena and be ready to crush the enemy Lena. Move out of the way. Very similar stats, but I'm going to do a three range attack so there's no 
counter attack to kill off all those lava titans. And then Leon can really attack and finish her off. Watch me get another Overlord's badge and drive you guys crazy. Alright, let's just wait a little. At least one turn. Okay, here we go. Rewind! Chain hook. Move. Let's start by weakening Luna with the Dark Reaper on the Bolt Rangers. And Leon can do his first attack. Which is enough. And what accessory will I get? It is True Cross. God damn it. <laughs> uh. When you talk about Overlord's badges, one, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm looking for a swordsmith medal. A lot of swordsmith medals. I have way too many Overlord's badges. You need at most two. Yeah, I also have a ridiculous number of Seal Guardians, yes. Level 50, level 50, level 50, and three more sitting here. Oh yeah, all I really truly want is Swordsmith Medals. As many of them as I can get. Lucky you, Lauren. Because <laughs> Sword of Metals is like the ideal PvP gear. You need them, like a lot of them. But in terms of accessories, I could use one Blood Pact. And I don't even need the Goddess tier at this point. I could use an Apex Boots, one or two. And I could use as many Sword of Metals as I could possibly get. I don't have a Divine Boots, I don't have a Spirit Boot, but I don't really care about those either. So what I want is, let's say, three or four Swordsmith Medals, two Apex Boots, and a Blood Pact. That would be ideal for me. I'm not expecting to get it though. Because <laughs> I just keep getting Elven Rings. And true crosses, apparently. But I can't complain, given I do have a few Overlord's badges. So it is what it is. Alright, so let's move on and do the SSS level trials next. 